Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video, but first watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, the link is below. All right, today I'm gonna be reacting to a video of a guy who says men no longer have to use shivery in order to get women. Nowadays, I think that this is what a lot of men have came to the understanding of life. And this is what I need a lot of you men to understand, that you have psychologically been programmed into thinking that you would never be happy unless you're married. You would not be happy unless you got kids, a dog, white picket fence, and you look happy. That's called a picture frame lifestyle. I want you to think about it. Every time you go to the store and you look at a picture frame, it always looks like everyone's happy. Even the families, even the couples, no matter what, it's a picture frame lifestyle. That picture frame mindset has leaked into Instagram. So now people get to showcase their lifestyle into being happy. Like, look at me, I'm happier than you. Why? Because they're really feeling down inside. So I say that to say this, men are no longer trying to get the picture frame lifestyle because men have realized that that's fake. What comes with the picture frame lifestyle? Typically a lot of infidelity. Typically behind the scenes, the happier people look on surface, the worst that's going on behind the scenes, especially when it comes to marriages. So now men are seeing, I no longer have to do these little steps, open the doors, buy you flowers, cater to your emotions. Because when I did it before, you treated me bad, but I was doing it in hopes that I can get the picture frame lifestyle. See men, you have to understand, you have the biggest curse to break. Women are under a delusion or curse that has always existed. It's part of woman's nature. That's not going to change. What has to change is your behavior towards the situation. All right, let's get to reacting to the video. I'm gonna let the video play for a little bit, but then I gotta stop in between because of copyrights. Let's get to it. Getting out of the car to open your door or to meet you at the door or to ring your doorbell when you can just walk downstairs. I am not opening your door. You're getting four letters, H-E-R-E. -E. That means I'm here. That means come outside. And that means when we go, like whatever our plans are, we're gonna go do what our plans were set to do. I wanna elaborate on that just a little bit. Okay, he's absolutely right. Even at the beginning of dating, you have to treat it as a 50-50 situation and you have to treat it as if she could defend for herself because technically you guys are just there to keep each other company. Now, if you were trying to win her in the end game or you were trying to win her for the long run, that's when guys have been programmed to start doing all these beta traits at the beginning. So he's right. You have to start to adjust with time. Women want to be treated as an equal. You must treat them as if they're strong as you and aware as you as well. Don't downplay their intelligence. That's when they use you. I'm not getting out of the car to open your door or to meet you at the door or to ring your doorbell when you can just walk downstairs. Honestly, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but I personally believe, and this is just my personal perception of me and my friends and all the females that we have dealt with, Collectively, chivalry is almost dead. Almost is like a uh, underestimate word, okay? Chivalry is done. You should not be using it whatsoever unless you're in the older ages. I'll probably say if you're 60, 70 years old, do some chivalry. It's still cute at that age. It's cute when older people are being very romantic and nice to each other. It has the younger couple still believing that love still exists. The next video that I'm going to react to is going to be a group of girls that are telling their thought stories to the rest of the world. Let's get to it. I got expelled from my old school for fucking my teacher. Yay! 
I hooked up with my Uber driver while my boyfriend was passed out in the back seat. Yay! I fucked my ex's best friend and he still doesn't know. Yay! The school thinks my sugar daddy is my real dad because he signs me out every week. Yay! I had a crush on my teacher so I started dating his son so I could come over. Yay! What you guys have to understand about woman's nature that a woman doesn't understand about her nature is that if she does things that it feels good to her, that she doesn't look bad about she doesn't look bad about what she's doing. I told a guy the other day, if a woman wakes up every day and, and punches you in the face and you allow her to punch you in the face and it felt good when she punched you in the face, then she's going to continue to do it, not knowing how much abuse or even if it hurts you because her emotions go before that. Okay, I say that to say this. <clears throat> a lot of what you just seen in this video it's typical stuff that happens with women. Women are the best actors in the world. They can transition themselves into any woman they want, especially if they are surrounded by beta males. The more women are surrounded by beta males, the more control she has over her fairy tale. What do I mean? Her fairy tale is what she actually wants to live out. So, when you start seeing women say, oh, I done slept with this guy. I done did this. All these girls confess or said degrading things knowing that their video was going to go viral worldwide so the world can see it. What makes them be shameless? Because it feels good to be slutty. Why? Because women get attention. When women get attention, they feel sexy. The lower, the less pretty a woman feels, the more degrading things she's going to do to feel sexy. What's sexy? You wanting to sleep with her. This is why when you guys are watching your adult porno films, you start to say to yourself, what makes these little girls want to sleep with seven, eight, nine, ten dudes, take it in the butt, the pussy, and the mouth, and all this? Just very degrading things to get recorded for the world to see. Why? She doesn't see porn as being wrong. Women don't look at sex as being wrong. They don't look at it as being degrading. Because long as it's done to them, they feel pretty. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully, you guys are able to get the message behind these videos. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels and watch the trailer at the end of the video. Hasta la vista.